Hello everyone and welcome back to Mindy Egan Design. Today I am thrilled to be guest designing for Newton's Nook Designs. They have some fabulous images over there that are featured around their tabby cat, Newton. So here is the set that I'm going to be playing with today. It's called Newton's Easter Basket and I love this image of Newton with all of these eggs. So that is the image I'm going to be creating with today. So I'm going to be starting off by stamping my image onto a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock. I'm using Nina cardstock today because I'm going to be Copic coloring my image. I will also be doing some ink blending. So I want to make sure that these lines are nice and crisp so that when I am done ink blending and I'm ready to color, I have some good lines to work with. So I did go ahead, use my Misty tool so I can get a good impression of that stamping it twice. And then here I already created my mask. So I'm just going to get that applied to my image. I really like this masking paper because when I'm when I pull it up when I'm ready to do my uh, Copic coloring, it doesn't ruin my image or leave any sticky residue behind. And I did also create a mask for this little birdie, but I didn't end up really needing it. I just did it just in case. So what I'll do is I'm actually lining up my panel on my grid mat here and making it straight at the bottom and I'm using the lines on my grid mat to line up my tape. So this is where I'm masking off the area of where I want my ink blending to be. I'm being very careful not to put too much pressure on the tape that is on the actual card. I'm putting more pressure down on the edges on the mat because this can rip your paper if you're not careful when you remove it. So I'm going to going to start off my ink blending with some shaded lilac distress oxide ink. This is a really nice light purple ink, perfect for Easter and spring colors. So I'm starting off at the bottom part of my masked area, just doing a really light touch to it, going about halfway up and being real careful around my masked area so I don't peel any of that up. And then I'm going to come in with the Mermaid Lagoon distress oxide ink and I'm going to come in from the top down and I'll meet that in the middle and I'll come back over briefly with that shaded lilac just to blend those two colors together a little better so there isn't such a harsh line in between the two of them. So these are really pretty colors together. So once I have my background uh, nice and ink blended the way I want, I'm going to come in and do some random stamping across that area. So I'm going to start with some Simon Says Stamp Hot Mama ink. This is a really nice purple. And I'm taking some of the smaller images off of this Newton's Easter Basket stamp set. And I'm just going to randomly stamp this around my shaded lilac area. So I thought these colors worked really well together. That Hot Mama color really stood out on top of the shaded lilac. And then I'm going to clean that heart stamp and I'm going to come in with the Catherine Pooler Something Borrowed ink. This was a gorgeous blue that worked really nice with that Mermaid Lagoon. And then I'm also going to come in with an egg and I'm stamping off on the side on top of the mask uh, just to have a nice complete random look to it. I didn't want to look like I planned where each one was going to go. I just did it quickly and was done. So once I have that finished off, I'm going to carefully remove this tape and I left this in the actual time that it took me to remove it. This is how slow I'm removing my tape. It comes off a little easier with the mask there, but I want to make sure I didn't rip my paper. And I did get a little bit of ink above where the tape line was, so I'm just going to end up coming in with a mono sand eraser and just rubbing that away a little bit, and it works out perfectly. And this is where I remove the mask, and I have this beautiful white image there to color in. And I can always save this mask with my stamp set. So if I wanted to mask another image in the future, I have that still available because I only used it once. So it's going to be uh, good for another use. And then I'm just wiping that little bit of extra ink with that sand eraser. Worked out perfectly. Can't even tell. Now the fun part of coloring in all of these eggs and Newton and that little bunny tucked away in the eggs. I did go through quite a few colors, so I'm going to have my colors listed on my blog and also in my video description down below. I just went around, added a little bit of shading to each one where things might have been tucked behind another egg, that type of thing. I wanted to keep this real spring and bright, so 
that's kind of the color palette that I was going with. There is a lot of coloring to this. Even though I did sped, uh, speed it up, it did take a little while. So I'm going to leave you with some wonderful music to enjoy while I finish coloring this up. If you want to skip the coloring, you can head on over to 1102 of the video. See you there.
Now here I'm just going to come in and I'm going to ground my image. So I'm adding just a little bit of shading underneath the eggs and the bunny there just so it didn't look like this image was floating around in that ink blended background. Now to finish up my card, I'm going to end up coming in and stamping a sentiment just in the top corner. My camera, while I was filming this, uh, decided to just stop and wouldn't start back up. So it did cut off the ending of my video, which really was just me adding some craft foam to the back of this panel and then adding this panel to an a size card base. So this will end up being a four and a quarter by five and a half top folding card. So I just wanted to let you know you're not missing anything. My camera just decided to go on the fritz. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you to Newton's Nook Designs for inviting me to be a guest and see you next time.